when I started trading in the Forex markets as a beginner, one of the things I've actually struggled with was how to basically identify my daily bias. That was a very, very difficult thing for me. And it was simply because there were not so many people that are willing to give it the simplest definition or to help you to identify it so easily. And in today's video, I'll be helping you to spot your daily bias easily. You can do this on any asset that is in the financial markets. If you're trading Forex, you're trading crypto, you're trading stocks, you need your daily bias. Those of you who are beginners in the Forex market, this is exactly what you need. So I don't want to make so much noise. I just want to go straight into the points. Now, there are four things you need in order to identify your daily bias. The number one thing is that you must master time frame. All right, time frame. Now we talk about time frame. Time frame is basically like the unit of everything you see on the charts. Is the unit of everything you see on the chart. Let me make it uh, a little bit smaller. All right, so that you can see what I'm writing. So we start with time frame, and then top down analysis. All right, top down analysis. If you have your book, make sure you write this because. What I'm about to share with you will help you. It will help you a lot. Nobody taught me this when I was coming up. But then through consistency, I've been able to get mastery in some of the things I am doing. So you need to understand how to do top-down analysis. Now, if you understand what time frames are, then top-down analysis is just like an addition to it. Because you will simply be navigating through different time frames in top-down analysis. And then thirdly, you need to understand how session, now time and price, right? Session works. Because even though the Forex market is operating 24 hours as supposed, but then you need some specific hours of the day to take good trades, all right? So sessions and then timing. When I talk about timing, it's simply when to actually enter the trade, the exact time and the moment of the day. So, Please pick your book and write this and I will show you in a practical way. All right. So let's do this practical on gold. Gold is what I'm displaying here. And then for those of you who are intraday traders, by the way, when we talk about daily bias, it's going to be more useful to those of you who are trading intraday, not for people who are actually position trading, like positional traders taking trades from the weekly or monthly. So let's deal with this right now. So. How much data do you need to look out for when you are trading intraday? Am I going to start my analysis from here as an intraday trader? Now the question is, am I going to just look at this area and say, oh, this is an area that price is going to strike. I'm waiting for price to come down here. No, no, no. Of course, even though this past data is important, I don't need it. Some of you will go back to data that is not important within the scope of your analysis. So let me show you a very quick way to do it. Whenever you come to analyze your chart, look at the most recent last two swings at most three. What I mean is this, when you see price push up, retrace, push up, retrace, push up. Now, this is what I mean by the last swings, these ones, all right? We have two recent swings here. We have the first one, which is this one, and then the second one anything outside that just forget about it all right and when you are starting don't go above the daily time frame forget about any time frame above the daily time frame deal with the daily time frame downward because you're trading intraday sometimes i even use the four hour that is my highest time frame most of the time but as you're starting you can use the daily time frame all right so we have one two so if we bring this to our charts let's see what we have here this is my chart on gold. So if I'm looking at that, I have this recent price swing. I have price boom going above here and then boom going above here. What do I have? If I want to trade today, assuming I wake up today, I am making this video at exactly 120, I think. Yes, 120 p.m. London time. So if I am looking at this right now, Let's assume I woke up, I want to trade. This is actually the New York session for today. I will normally start my analysis from the London session. Frankfurt opens 7 a.m. London session through 
1 p.m. you will have the London session across. Everything is in that. Now, if I am trading today, what I need to do is to make sure that I get what happened yesterday and where price is at currently. Now, the most recent price action is this. Price have broken above this, which means that we have cleared external range liquidity. Are you with me? We have cleared external range liquidity. And according to the rule of swings, if I have price like this, am I going to say this is my swing low and then this is swing high? No, no, no. If I want to establish a point as a swing low, I need to see retracement with at least three candles closing below each other. What I mean by that is this. You see one, two. What I mean by closing below is this. You see this candle opened here and it closed here. Right? The second one opened here and it closed here. Do we have any third candle? No. So this place is not where I will do my swing low and swing high. How about this one? We come here and say, okay, let's find the price swing. We have one, two, and three. At least we have three candles. So this place have established to be a low. So if I want to put my FIP level, I can easily look out for the last week. So this week is the lowest here, even though we have other ones. So this place is the right place to put your FIP level and drag it to this area. Now, I am not yet into retracement. For me to establish retracement, I need three candles again. So this market is massively bullish. As at yesterday, it is still bullish. It was still a bullish market. So when I know that the higher time frame, the most recent price swing now is bullish. Do I have any business going bearish? Yes, you have business going bearish, but it depends. Now, from the daily time frame, what you need to do is to now find your way down to the lower time frame. And this brings the concept of multiple time frame analysis or what we call the top down analysis. I have established time frame. So the time frames we are going to be navigating is the daily the 4 hour, the 15 minute, and the 5 minute. These are the time frames you have business with. All right. The daily, the 4 hour, the 15 minutes, and the 5 minutes. So from now, if I want to start trade, what I would do is to simply go to the 4 hour. That is the next time frame lower. Now, after doing your market structure delineation on the higher time frame, price behaves in fractal. What that means is that price takes time to form what will happen in the higher time frame. But before it finally happens, it starts from the lower time frame, all right? It creates that price action in the lower time frame before it finally creates in the higher time frame. For those of you who are familiar with cooking, have you seen an onions before? Onions, when you keep peeling it, it has different layers, all right? It has different layers. So when we say price behaves in fractal, it's just like that. The smaller time frame forms the bigger time frame. That's how you keep unfolding. Everything that is happening on the higher time frame can happen on the lower time frame. Now that I've gone to the four hour time frame, what I need is refinement. Say it refinement. So refinement is for me to start this market structure delineation afresh from this higher time frame. So all I have to do is to say, okay, the most recent price action in this time frame is this. Boom. Are you seeing it? Now, before today started, let me take out today completely so you would not see it. Uh, let's go to the daily so that I will have just yesterday. And this is the price action for yesterday. Because I am assuming we are just starting this trade. <coughs> so I have this right here. We have... A break of structure above, right? That's a break of structure. Now, where is your price swing? This is now what you need. Here, remember on the daily time frame, we never had our price swing here. But on the four hour time frame, this is our price swing from here to here because we have enough candles to be considered as a retracement. I hope this is understandable anyway. So if this is my swing low, this is my swing high. All right. I have one. Uh, just two candles is not enough to be called a retracement. Just this one and this one. So this is not a retracement yet, but this is the highest level I have as at today when I'm starting the day. 
So the next thing to do, if I am starting the day today, maybe during Asian time, I may not see an entry. You have to be careful with what is happening. Two things may happen here. Since I have premium and discount, price can decide to come down to discount before going up or price can even continue going up. It depends on what price wants to do. So it's left for me to find the easiest thing to do following what price is doing. I have to respect what price is doing. By the way, guys, I want to digress for a bit and show you something amazing. Fastbull is organizing a traders contest. If you are a trader and you believe you can participate in this contest, make sure you use the link in the description of this video and then participate. This is free, totally free. 2024 contest by Fast Bull S1. You see, trading contest, unprecedented scale, huge award, accessible to all. Everybody, there is no favoritism. Everybody has access to it. All you have to do is to come register and then you will have access to join this competition. These are the rewards that are waiting. Those of you who will participate, I've already done my own. You start by the first position will earn $10,000. Imagine you making $10,000 from just a competition. And then we have $5,000. We have $3,000 for the third position. And then till the 10th position, you have a reward of $100. So don't be discouraged. You can participate in this. It's quite easy. Kindly follow the link from the description of this video. And it's starting in the next 55 days. Make sure you get registered. Fastbull is actually a platform that supplies you with different financial instruments. And they have their platform just like TradingView and a lot of fascinating futures. They also have an amazing aspect, which is the economic calendar. Let me quickly show you the economic calendar right here. If you come over here, fastbull.com, the link is in the description. Come to where products are, economic calendar. This is it. Just like you have access to different economic news that were expected according to country, region, continental level, you will have access to all the fundamentals. You will have the news impact from medium, high, or low impact news so make sure you follow through and check fastball the link is in the description of this video quickly coming back to our analysis now after you have seen this there are possible places that price will go you are not a prophet you will have to wait for price to do what it wants to do you don't make assumptions so all i will do is to mark my levels the nearest place i want price to come to is this place why not here all right why not here i don't want here because it's very much possible that price will push further and touch this guy because this guy has a bullish order block close to it and then continue going up. So if that is what price is going to do, I will wait for today to start. So today is going to start, but then I want to check what will happen in the 15 minute time frame. Going down there. Now this is the 15 minute time frame. All right. Look at what happened. Price at the latter end of yesterday now you see price has just wrenched a little bit price push lower went back up and then today is starting let's go as an intraday trader you want to start your today with understanding what is happening so i started today if i go to settings and come to session breaks this is very much easy for those of you who have metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 it just helps you to separate each day from each other. So this is what happened. Yesterday's price action. Look at where yesterday's price action being Monday. Price has just moved a little bit and then boom, upward. So if this is what is happening, I need to watch out for what will happen today. It's very much possible that I can even counter trade down to this area. Remember, this is the point of interest. We have one and we have two. Possible please, price may come here or it can continue going up. It depends on what price decides to do up to now you don't make your decision the next thing to do is to follow what price will do through different sessions now i said session is important we start the financial day with the asian session then comes the london and then the new york closes everything about the financial day so look at this if i am starting this i am starting the day like this this is the day starting. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the power of three concepts, it's one of my favorite concepts in the day since I'm daily trading. All right. I use the power of three concepts and the power of three concepts simply speaks about how price starts each day with something like uh, manipulation, which is normally an accumulation phase. 
and then quickly a manipulation before price distributes if i have this happening every day at least three times in a week i'm very much okay so if i have price behaving this way i will look out for power of three concept or i will generally look for what is happening from the higher time frame perspective so if i am starting the asian session which is this one i will simply look out for the high of asia which may probably be this guy this could be the highest point asia went to and then i will wait for price to create the low of asia asia starts from 12 a.m midnight that's london time to almost 6 a.m morning time that's london time so there is this indicator that helps me to get the exact movement of asia it's called asian range and kill zones i use it a lot so this is it it gives you the high of asia and the lowest area asia has gone to so if that is the case i'll wait for price to now give me the high and the low of asia look at this this is how i love to see the precision of price action look at this price have created this yesterday price have done this movement price has even done this one yesterday clearing a little bit of the high of asia and then it traded downward this is a manipulation it has accumulation manipulation and distributed and it came back right into the range so today that i'm starting i will look out for this i will play my game in the lower time frame 15 minute and 5 minute time frame because i trade mostly the london session so if that is the case this is it i have the high and the low of asia all right as at this time if i wake up and i discover that price is here i will not make any decision i will wait for price to decide where it wants to go to amd accumulation manipulation and distribution so if i have price accumulating all right manipulating and distributing this is something i teach my community guys if you want to join my mentorship which is a full-time mentorship where you get to see me analyze three times in a week and then you take trades and then i correct a lot of your mistakes kindly use the link in the description it's called elite traders program this is it you can pick up this course it's called the elite traders program it only costs 99 dollars and it's a lifetime access you will have to the community there is also a course recorded specifically for those of you who are interested in getting mentorship but if you know what you're doing already in the market you don't need it for those of you who need close range mentorship i don't sell courses this is strongly mentorship where you get to hear from me each day all right we meet three times in a week we meet twice during london session and once during new york session so that is how we normally do it so look at this price decides to trade lower what does that mean to you you have your accumulation already all right all you need is manipulation does this look like a manipulation for you now from the higher time frame from the 15 minute time frame you may see price push like that two things may come to your mind you may look at this area and say whoa what if i want to see price come here you look out yesterday and say okay if price should come here i should take the buy but then notwithstanding i want to see some sign let me tell you one secret guys this is something i normally teach my students but then this is what normally happens if you look at this if the manipulation stage or the manipulation stage of the amd normally forms the low or the high of the day and that happens during something called the london kill zone hour the london kill zone hour starts from 7 a.m make it larger 7 a.m write it please 7 a.m to 10 a.m non london time or 3 a.m to 5 a.m new york time all right this other time london time so this is the exact hour we expect the high of the day or the low of the day to be formed during this exact hour of the day you now see i'm bringing time and price right so if i know this is the lowest area that price will form that day does that gives you an idea and it forms during the manipulation it gives you an idea of what price should be doing so look at this look at this it has the chances of creating at least 80 percent of the day of the time rather you find it creating like that so 
it's possible that this could be how do i know that that is the lowest level i will show you i will show you don't worry so right here i have this uh let's go if i have this forming i will go to the five minute this is the time frame of my entry the five minute time frame is the time frame i want to take my entry from all right so look at this on the five minute time frame if i have a low a low is formed when i have price shifting structure and leaving this guy as the lowest area right or i have price creating a breaker leaving this guy as the lowest area rather all right so this becomes the low whenever i have a shifting structure already whenever you have a shifting structure it simply means that price is about to continue going upward it's not going to come back so it's as simple as this if i'm creating the low of the day i need a shifting market structure after the low of the day has formed and how do i know it it must form within 7 a.m toward to 10 a.m london time so all i have to do is to look out for that exact area where is 7 a.m uh, this place this is 7 a.m and where is 10 a.m this is 10 a.m are you seeing what i'm seeing is it formed at that exact time of the day yes it's formed within that area and i will have a shift in market structure where within that time if i have it that means that is the low of the day i will take my buy from there any retracement into a fair value gap boom that is the daily bias for you i hope this helps somebody anyway so if you are doing this you have not forgotten the higher time frame bias is actually bullish all right it helped you to know exactly except if this guy from the higher time frame have traded through into has traded into a significant long time sell side area but as it is now price is strongly bullish and i want to be bullish as strong as it is right so i am clearing the law of asia look at this to further fortify my entry i have cleared the law of asia which is the manipulation stage that normally comes inducement to create false breakout false breakout traders will begin to sell from here those of you who have done breakout trading begin to sell from here and they will target some hilarious profit area here say oh this is a sell this is a sell and only for them to be manipulated that's why it is called a manipulation all right so i would i also have whoa, whoa, whoa there is this one a further confirmation on the five minute look at this a fear value gap that price have traded into isn't that isn't that enough reason for you to take this so I am not just taking it from here guys i am not just taking it from here i wait for a shifting structure which is what this one a shifting structure and what did i say as soon as price comes back to the fair value gap here if you want to do premium and discount you can do it but look at this here to here price tapped into the discount area and boom it went up from there so this is how i watched out for my buyers for the day today Look at this. You don't expect price to come back any longer. You don't expect price to come back here anymore. So look at this. Does that give you the bias for the day? That gave you the bias for the day. So anything that will happen, it will never come down here again. You can even take your trade, even if it is just blindly and say, okay, I am going bullish from here because I have finally created the low. Price will not come to my low and you take any point from there right but mostly we target the high of asia first before we finally do scaling if you check other assets too let's check euro usd and c you can also see how this bias works all right it works quite easily quite easily let me show you so this is euro usd uh, on the five minute time frame can we consider this as the low of the day let's see what time did it form uh this is this is okay where is 7 a.m 7 a.m to 10 a.m so i have formed the law of the day here so if you are thinking this is the law of the day outside the kills one hour then you will get stopped out so this is why i said you must wait for it to form inside what inside the kills one hour you see so this is the true law of the day after that what did you see price came back and it took up to that area creating all these price movements all right so most of the time this is how it happens so if you know 
where the bias is you will know exactly how to take the trade in that direction all right you will take the trade and another final thing okay this one has done it too oh gbp usd has done it quickly let's see it let's see it. some of them will give you an entry easily uh 12 uh, 7 okay uh, gbp gbp did not create it inside it so just let it be uh, sometimes it, it it may be a lagging piece because there is a lot of correlation between these guys and other assets like that so right so another simple one is the dxy you look at dxy look at the direction of dxy and do the exact opposite for the foreign currencies why it is simply because they are negatively correlated dxy and foreign currencies such as euro gbp all the other ones so if euro is going bullish you don't expect the dollar to be bearish each one will do the exact opposite of what the other one is doing all right so guys this is the simplest way i do get my bias if i check the data check how much i need to look out for i look at it i know if i want to do the amd i use the amd if i'm just trading uh, generally what price is giving me i just do it thank you very much guys it took long time but i know it will help somebody out there if you want to join the mentorship you get deeper knowledge more than this from this from my daily analysis from my live analysis with my students you get to ask questions see you in that particular community thank you guys see you next time i make video